Thanks for coming, everybody. Please enjoy the movie. As a cast member, you never know if you're going to make a movie out of a show. Uh, but I think early on, like fa early in the first few seasons of the show, uh, fans started sort of asking, are you ever going to make a movie? Um, and then they did. I, I, you know, I would say kudos to the people who actually made the movie. I did a little bit, but not a lot. I'm really, a, I, you know, I just provide the voice. But there was a lot of work that went into making the movie, and they had to make the TV show at the same time. So it's pretty impressive. Their natural interaction is like a lot of families. Uh, they complain a lot. Uh, there's a lot of problems, uh, and they help each other through it. They obviously wanted to make it a musical uh, because there's been music in the show all these years. Uh, and they wanted to make it a story about the family and they wanted the stakes to be a little higher uh, than maybe a normal episode of the show. Uh, so I think they achieved that. What's really fun is that I, like people want to take my picture, you know, <laughs> which, which is exciting. <laughs> Like, this does feel like, like my party. I'm seeing a, um, a burger outfit. I don't know. <laughs> they just look good. Bob's Burgers has been a TV show that people have found a lot of uh, comfort and love in over the years. And it's kind of like, like a neighbor. Like, it's, the, you're, you're, it's always next door and you always know where to find it. But a movie is sort of like a, a one night only pop star just like rolled into town and we all need to like catch it while it's here. <laughs> it's brought a lot of excitement, like a rejuvenation in the show. Uh, people are coming out saying, oh, I love, I love Bob's. And, and you know, it's just like, it's like, it's, I feel the love. 
You know, it's interesting when, when Lauren said they're doing a movie, I wasn't really sure what that would be like because it, the show does have kind of a smaller stakes and I was like, I hope they don't kind of like ruin that to go, uh, you know, to be like, it has to be a movie. But I feel like when I saw the cut, I totally got it. They like, it's a bigger stakes. The, the animation has more detail, more depth. It really belongs in the big screen, but it still holds on to like, you know, the, the groundedness of the family. Lauren, the creator, um, in his writing, and he's just very good at, at like somehow writing dialogue that really seems like real people in a way that nothing else does. And so, I think people when they, in, when they see that, and there's a, such a variety of characters, not just the main characters, but all the side characters, that everyone can find someone that like that's like exactly me, and that's exactly my dynamic with my sister or mom or friend or whoever. Well, it just has such a. Um, it, it goes to a kind of like surprisingly dark and tense place. It comes back from it and then, but it just has like, it, it just has like um, a grander, bigger stakes. And it just has like, you know, so many like musical numbers and that are much more like fully choreographed the way I wouldn't even think they'd bother with a cartoon, but just like um, really interesting dance moves and just such and um, really interesting like set pieces and it's just is such a, a spectacle. It would, um, I'm sure it'd be great to watch. I mean, I have watched it on a small screen and it's great, but I, I, it's, it's much better to see it on the big screen. It's incredibly exciting. I've never been to a premiere and so this is really amazing. It's so much, yeah, it's wonderful. They're just a very warm, but kind of idiosyncratic family that, you know, embrace all their oddities. Some of the messages in the film, uh, I think, uh, gumption. There's going to be gumption and heart. <laughs> those are those are the themes. It is a comedy adventure musical mystery. Uh, it has elements of a lot of different things coming together. I think one thing that's kind of wonderful about the movie is that whether you've ever seen any Bob's Burgers or not, it's kind of actually a great intro into the the world. It's a very funny, very warm movie, and a great movie to see with friends and family. We've been making this movie with passion in addition to the series for the past four years. And through the pandemic, now we're actually here at the El Capitan on Hollywood Boulevard. It's just, it, it is like a fairy tale. So we're so excited to see how all the fans and all of our family respond to the film. There's so much comedy, so much music, so much adventure. We really tried to take the best of the series and make it into a film, and we hope everybody appreciates it. It has so much to bring everybody together because there's so many relatable story points, and I think that's something special about our characters is how we have a character for everybody to relate to. So whether it's with your family, whether it's your, with your friends, there's someone for you to fall in love with. It's really about happiness and bringing people together and really showcasing every character as well as our personalities, independence. And I think every, every character has a storyline within the film and I think it's going to be something special for everybody to gravitate towards. The energy is just, I don't have enough words. It really, it, we've been away from the fans, we've been away from the Bob's energy for so long that this being kind of the first time we're back together after the pandemic, just seeing the cosplay, hearing the music, the fans' excitement and laughter, like, it's why we do this. It is the true reason why we do this. I never in my wildest uh, dreams when I was valeting just down the street that I would be here. We got to make a movie, which is unheard of, for a TV show that started out so small and kind of grew to this place with all our awesome fans and all the Comic Cons. And I think uh, the, we, I don't think any of us saw this coming. It's been talked about for a while, and now here we are. And uh, I, I love the movie; it's so fun, and it's going to be great for all ages. I think. I'm excited for Louise's storyline. is very, um, very cool for young girls, and um, I love just how the family comes together. And um, they, you know, they, they love each other. There's a, there's a lot of love, but there's a lot of drama in this that's not in the show. It's very big and made for the theater, so it's going to be fun to watch. You know, you just want everyone to enjoy the movie. There's a lot of hard work that um, that the voice actors have nothing to do with, the animators. The, um, the writers, directors, you know, all that's all the hard stuff I think happens after we record. So um, it's pretty. I'm proud of them for 
getting through a pandemic and, and writing something fun and something that's going to take people out of their space for a few seconds and it's just something to enjoy. There's a little murder mystery musical comedy, I guess that's how we would describe it, and um, amazing guest stars, and I think there's something for all the fans, little little gems, little hidden uh, Easter eggs in there that um, I think people are going to enjoy. After the long kind of journey this film took to make it here, I think it's great that we're all here kind of celebrating uh, this show, now a movie. There's the same pattern of the they are in a struggle there's a struggle and people have to come together in this sense of community but in the case of the film it's much bigger it's a much bigger movie very cinematic both the animation and the musical aspects there's also choreography in this film which is pretty great bring your friends and even friends who've never seen Bob's Burgers and introduce them into a world that if you enjoy your time here, which I think you will, you're probably going to come out and watch uh, 200 more stories about this family and these cast of characters. They're all unique, and they're all kind of in their own way, but from their parents they get love and support despite the fact that they're kind of in this state of economic, economic adversity, not to get too heady, but they are they're always struggling, but they are always being a family and they're always being funny, and there's a lot of love in the, love in the show. You don't want to imagine this, and you shouldn't, because you just get ahead of yourself. Uh, so we're just taking this uh, as if it's a long, strange dream that we're having, and that's why I wore something like this. I will say this. I actually want the fans to forget for a second that it's a TV show. I want this movie to work even for people who've never seen it before and to kind of lift off for a moment and not even be a TV show that got turned into a movie, just a movie. We were thinking a lot about optimism. That's something that's been in the show this whole time, but we hadn't done an episode about it. We hadn't really explored it. And so we looked at that as our main course. Uh, and it's also something, you know, that's just like we're interested in our own lives. The people who work on this show are a pretty optimistic bunch. And optimism isn't some foolish thing um, that you just have uh, when times are good. It's actually the most important to have when times are tough. The actors like each other. And that makes us want to write a family that likes each other, even when they're being silly, even when they're goofing around. There goes one. And I think there's, a, um, I think there's something there. Uh, it's our formula and we're sticking to it. Bob's has been wonderful and, and, you know, it's obviously people seem to like it, but to be making a feature and being here is pretty special. I haven't ever been to one of these myself, so it's, uh, it's really exciting, you know, and just seeing all this, actually just seeing all these Bob stuff, I mean, I did this drawing, so it's kind of funny just seeing it on large, you know. It's great because I think it was just really special to be able to tell uh, a story, a bigger story, and you know, the funny thing about Bob's, is like, it's been around for 10 years and millions of people have watched it, but they only watch it in like groups of five, you know and four or five, you know, just families at home, whereas this is a, a time where you can have a few hundred fans all watching it together, and that's what we're excited about tonight, just seeing it with a big crowd. It is really fun to see in a crowd, and like, I, I, was, I was really happy with how well it played because we hadn't, you know, unlike a lot of movies where they have test screenings and that sort of thing in the lead up to the release, because of the pandemic, we had none of that. So. We kind of, it felt like there was only a handful of people that had ever seen the movie, you know, in its entirety. So, and to see it with a crowd and see their reactions was really fun. Yeah, it was great. It's all about positivity, I think. And, and I think at the moment it's, it's, it's a great message right now. And, and uh, you know, the family, and it's also just to the Belchers are a family that love each other, very supportive of each other. And I think when you, uh, you know, they go on this big adventure and basically they're going to lose the restaurant. And so to see the family deal with that is, is great. It was interesting because just to be able to pick a story, and I, and I think what they did was amazing because, you know, from the very outset, we didn't want it to feel like an, an episode of the show. We, like, we didn't want people coming out going, well, that felt like a long episode. We could have watched that at home. We want it to be a big screen experience. And so they really did a great job 
of coming up with a story that you could never do on a show. It's, it's such a large scale story with large stakes. And at the same time, they had all our characters have their own little story, we follow them all. And, and I, I just think they did an amazing job. And I think fans of the show and all the characters are gonna love it. It's so cool to see people in costume. Like I didn't know that was gonna be a part of it. I thought it was just gonna all be like, serious fancy dress people and the people in costume I make it so much more fun and like oh good like there's gonna be people that really love the show here. First of all it was really fun to do like we love movies and never dreamed that one day we'd be able to write it and then like I love these characters so much that it was just exciting to put them in a context where it was like a huge epic story because I think they can make that work because great jokes cut well against a huge epic story so it's like they fit in any scenario, and it was so fun for us to write something really big for them. We knew we wanted to do something that was worthy of the big screen, so me and Lauren were like murder mystery pretty early on because we love that genre. And then we knew we couldn't do, we can't do anything without doing music because we love it so much, so we wanted to put that in. And then we knew that a big screen meant really fun, exciting, big action pieces. And we do some of those on the show, but we haven't like really thought about incorporating it as much as with this movie and then we got the chance to do these like big and our and Bernard our director pushed us towards that too these big visual set pieces and it was just exciting to put it all together and steal from all of our favorite genres and put it into one thing. I'm so excited about groups of friends seeing it. We finally got to see it in like a family friends like a screening with people who had never worked on the movie and it was so exciting as like an experience cuz most people are watching it by themselves with a few people at home and it's like I mean I don't want to say Rocky Horror Picture Show but like cuz it's not like I don't want to it's that's up in a high level but like it's so exciting to think of a shared experience it just makes it so much more human and a deeper connection. It just makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. I love it. I love that people are going to be able to share it together. We really wanted the movie to be about optimism. It was really important to us to have it be like a conversation between Bob and Linda, a pessimist and an optimist, and why it's actually like doing the math, like is it potentially worthwhile to be an optimist? Because I'm kind of a pessimist, Lauren's kind of an optimist, so it was like sort of discussing that. And I mean, coming out, I'm a spoiler on the side of optimism. We didn't decide we should all be pessimists. Um, and, and it was really important to us to like be like, being hopeful is actually maybe like a, the right way to go about your life.